Could you expand on Jesus of Nazareth's relationship to Mary Magdalene and that relationship enabling him to step fully into the archetype of Christos? I don't know if about Jesus, uh, let's talk about Christ, because in that case, we understand that the ultimate goal of each one of us, and for which this is a very powerful example, is to become fully androgynous. It means to really awaken the masculine and the feminine within each one of us, which is one of the keys also for the next uh, phase of humanity. So this meeting of the Christ Presenting, representing the masculine, with Magdalene representing the fully awakened feminine um, principle, uniting, we're creating the androgynous, reinforcing the Ka, the etheric astral bodies of the Christ, so they could go through that sacrifice energetically. Because we must remember that what Christ did on that cross not only gave us an example of love, compassion, and redemption, but it also cleansed the karma of the yes. whole of humanity. So that is incredible. From that moment on, it's like we started anew. Yeah. It's a new epoch that started, a new spiritual, energetic epoch. And to do that, he needs to be fully complete with the maximum of his power. Then you can do that only when you are fully divine, meaning your masculine and your feminine are fully awakened within you.